social entrepreneurs and innovators. Catalyst 2030 is a movement of social entrepreneurs and innovators embracing collective action to achieve the SDGs by the deadline 2030. Our 1,500 members are active in 197 countries. By emphasizing collaborations, Catalyst 2030 is leveraging the power of the collective to accelerate real change in the lives of billions of people around the globe. What do our members say about Catalyst? Catalyst 2030 is an invaluable global community of impact entrepreneurs. Our relationship with Catalyst 2030 has really taught us the power of co-creation. Join Catalyst 2030 and network bond and collaborate with our family members. And I like the spirit of bringing change makers together to share and learn from each other. Catalyst really understands the transformative nature of um, collaboration. It's also a platform that uh, can give us um, new tools and resources. Catalyst 2030 has put my work on steroids. But most importantly, to come up with solutions that are practical, ways where we can really make things happen, because social entrepreneurs are doers. Are you a catalyst? Join us to achieve the SDGs. Nisaf, over to you. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, we can wait a couple of minutes uh, when other participants join. Nisaf, if you want, while we wait a couple of more minutes, I can play song, when a specific song from a member of Catalyst in New Zealand that she did for Catalyst in Change Week. So to make the waiting time uh, nicer. And then thank you for your patience for the ones that are already here. We'll start in a couple of minutes. recording the session so we'll be able to also share it with the people that were not able to join us yet. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Susanna. Thank you for Catalyst and uh, welcome uh, all the attendees. Uh, today we are going to, to talk about uh, gamification 
uh, as a stimulator to system change, uh, how gamification can uh, accelerate and amplify SDGs. And then we are going to uh, uh, to have like a, like a, a brainstorm game uh, with the, with the, with our tool and uh, share and exchange together this amplification and acceleration uh, of gamification toward uh, toward the goals, sustainable development goals. So now I'm going to share my screen. Uh, is my screen clear? It's charging. Should be there. Yes. Okay. I'm going to put it. Okay. Okay, let's start now by definition of gamification. I want all of you to uh, to tell me and uh, I want to know if anyone here, I know that if gamification is is uh, is not uh, a, a new uh, a new concept, but I want everyone to to tell me by a little definition on the chat what is his perspective for gamification. So everyone can uh, put on the chat his little definition of gamification. Okay, let's start. Uh, Dorothy say hello. Uh, they say play based it to make things become more fun. Okay, what's more? Rewards. Uh, Sharif, welcome Sharif, he said the uh, experience of edutainment, yes. Actual engaging experience. Okay, what's more? Please, I want everyone here to, to tell me his definition or his perspective. For the one who joined it now, they can also uh, tap his definition on the chat. Okay. So we have the combination of play bases of uh, fun, of, uh, of rewards, winning rewards, of experience, engaging experience, motivation, and edutainment. Okay, but we know that there is many types of gamification and the real definition of gamification 
is that use of elements that is not the use of element game that is a, a non-game environment or to engage someone in activity. This is called CAP. Uh, it's a, a well-known educational research, especially in a gamification. But when we talk about gamification, we talk about mechanic elements. Uh, and this mechanic elements, which you can engage people to the activity or engage people or mobilize people to do something. That's, that's the really uh, real definition of gamification. Okay, I'm going to share with you now this period table of gamification elements. I'm going also to, uh, uh, to, to, to explore with you all the different elements and then we are going to bring that and gamify together what we are going to, uh, to, to oversee from this gamification elements. So we, we now, we have uh, onboarding, we have random rewards, uh, we have signposting, we have loss aversion, investment, strategy, uh, 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 scarcity, time pressure. Uh, we have the flow, the consequence. We have here on the right, on my right, the fixed rewards, time dependent, uh, the feedback that is more, uh, that is very important. You have to establish the theme, the narrative, the curiosity, all the elements of social uh, uh, elements of social gamification, like pressure, social discovery, uh, social status, uh, social network. We have also with the green color, the challenges, the certificates, the learning, like uh, one of the attendees say, uh, it's the, in, the, the experience edutainment, uh, the guests, uh, the boss battle, the exploration, the branching choice, the Easter eggs, the creativity tools. And we have with uh, the orange, the aesthetic purpose, the caretaking, the access, the collection, uh, the sharing, the knowledge share. When we all want to engage people, we have to, to share knowledge with them. The customization, the points, rewards. We can, uh, many rewards can have many, uh, many, many, uh, many uh, aspects like points, prizes, leaderboard, badges, and finally we have the light touch development. Uh, the also we have the energy, the voting when people vote, uh, the innovation platform, and we have the virtual economy and logic. But the question is, why we use this period table of gamification? Now, we are going to, to, to engage together here. We have, uh, Susanna, I think we have uh, how many people here? Uh, we are eight. We have eight. From you we have eight people. OK, we have eight people. So together, we are going to gamify together to, uh, with this period table with question. And everyone is going, uh, whatever he wanted to raise his hand, to tap on the chat, or just to mute his, uh, his, his microphone uh, and, uh, and tell me uh, his answer or his perspective. Okay, I'm going to share with you this question. The first one is how many elements are there in the gamification period table, like I said here. Okay. Okay. 
Someone say it for 52. Okay. Anyone else? <laughs> oh, thank you, Roland. I, I don't want to, to, to reshare again the table because I want everyone to tell me his, his knowledge about uh, this periodic, uh, this periodic game elements. So from your perspective. <laughs> okay. We have 52. Anyone else want to, to, to suggest? Okay, right. Okay, okay, right. We have a good memory here. Okay, uh, it's it's fifty two. Yes, it's fifty two with different colors. But we have now we are we are going to dig deeper into this element. What are the three aspects of self determination theory? Right, like I said, there is many in gamification element. We have we have this kind of. Uh, of motivation, of uh, resilience, of determination. But in determination, when we, call, when we, when we say self-determination, what are the three aspect, aspects of this determination when we use it in gamification? Tap it on the chat, you feel free, or you want to unmute yourself and, and tell me directly. Misaf, we have a question in the chat. Uh, please clarify yes. self-determination. Yes. Uh, who said the question? This is from Rolin. 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 Uh, okay, Rolin, welcome. Okay. When we say self-determination is uh, related to our personality, what I mean is self-determination is uh something in psychology when we say it it's an important concept that we use it uh to 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 each person ability to make choices or to manage their own life for example we are talking about accelerating action towards a sustainable development goals so when we have this kind of self determination we can achieve a current action and make real choices and manage our life environmentally, socially, and economically. This is the kind of self-determination. It's, uh, it's, it's an important role that we have to, uh, uh, to, to, to make it uh, uh, to, and to allow people to feel that way. They have this kind of control of their choices of their lives. This is kind of self-determination. But I can uh, I can add something else about example to uh, approach example for self determination. Uh, when we have the legal right of people to, to decide their own destiny, whatever in international or national uh, problem uh, or uh, issue or challenge. So this is the core principle of uh, of self determination. I hope that I answered your question, Rolly. Okay, someone tell me what is the three aspects of, uh, of self-determination? There, there is a three main aspects that we use it as people in, in, this, uh, in this planet to, uh, to amplify, to accelerate actions also.
And all these experts are really very keen with sustainable development goals. goals. Nisef, we have a reaction already from Rolin. Uh, maybe to clarify in advance what the outcomes would be. Okay, the outcomes of uh, of this. Uh, you you mean the outcomes of the question or what? Uh, what what do you mean? Rolin, do you want to maybe add and you clarify? Can, you can unmute yourself, Rolin. Maybe she's not in a place uh, to unmute herself, but maybe that, oh, okay. Oh, let me just try to give you, you should be able probably really to unmute yourself, but let me just try this. Can you please try again? Okay, I'm going to uh, to to tell Roline uh, the outcome of uh, of uh, of self determination. Uh, uh, the outcome of self determination when we use it in gamification. That's uh, that's the main point of this question. Is that we have to uh, to explain the motivation and making the right decision about. Uh, uh, about our uh, challenges, about environmental challenges, like SDG, for example, uh, making uh, green cities and communities, fighting climate change challenges, all these kind of forms and challenges are related to our self-determination, uh, that is, whatever political uh, or determine political issues, whatever uh, unification issues, whatever uh, also uh, many forms like uh, the freedom, the authority, the respons our responsibility toward uh, the planet, our uh, lives. So this is kind of the of uh, of the question. Okay, I'm going to pass uh, to tell you the, the, the three aspects of uh, self determination that is very important to uh, to to our to, to us, and we use it also in gamification to stimulate education and to stimulate. Uh, engaging people and uh, toward fighting global issues. Okay, the three elements, they are the participation in decision making. When we participate as people in decision making, we really have the power to, uh, uh, to, to accelerate actions. Uh, the second uh, uh, aspect is the, uh, the good faith. When we have good faith, we are determined to, uh, to, to achieve this goal. Uh, and the third one is the respect for protection and of culture. What I mean the respect uh, for protection of culture, that we have this kind of, of legacy towards uh, our planet, toward nature. What, why, we, why, why we want to engage ourselves uh, to fight climate change, why we wanted to uh, to to uh, to uh, to decrease consumption in many elements. Why we wanted to uh, to help people and to engage people in learning, uh, in learning uh, problem solving, environmental problem solving. So we have this kind of respect of nature. That's why we gamify people. We engage people to uh, with with kinds of uh, with this kind of educational tools to make them motivated, determined, and also, uh, like I said, real actor towards sustainable development goals. Okay.
all this kind of elements are related to our uh, to our positivity, to our competence, to our also autonomy. Uh, if we don't have the autonomy, the competence, we can't really uh, uh, engage people. So as educators in education, uh, whatever in games or activity games, we use this kind of uh, theory uh, to, to engage people, to engage learner, where I say learner players, whatever their, their, uh, their status, but this engagement of self-determination make things very successful. Okay, I'm going to reshare my screen. I think they stop it. Okay, thank you, Susanna. Can you see my screen? It's charging now, should be, yes, there. Okay, now the main question is how can gamification contribute to achieve our SDG? We have 70 uh, SDGs, but how gamification can really contribute uh, practically to achieve those goals? With eco gamification, it's a kind of concept that we implemented also in eco Clico and in, in, in my hub here in Tunisia. With this a kind of eco gamification, we include uh, people to, to have this kind of green behavior, green attitude. So we change their attitude, we change this, uh, their, their, uh, their mindset toward SDG. So with entertainment, with rewards, like, uh, like, uh, like one of the, uh, the attendees said, with the user using good practices, with improving engagement also, and also help avoiding over tourism. So this is why we use gamification and that's why gamification is very potential and really a good stimulator to achieve and accelerate sustainable development goals. So, I'm going to reshare again. Okay, I'm going to explain again game, uh, the green, uh, green gamification and why we use it. We can say green gamification and we say also gamifying in green in the same concept. Uh, this is kind of, uh, of, uh, of a gamification tool that we use it. It's like a bingo green game to foster, to use this kind of me me mechanic to engage people to change their behavior toward whatever uh, energy, uh, a planting tree, uh, climate change, uh, a carbon footprint, this kind uh, increasing also uh, uh, decreasing uh, uh, the use of fossil fuels uh, and going green. What I mean is going green is you have to change yourself, whatever, in, even in your daily routine, you have to change your daily routine, your lifestyle. We have to be like a green lifestyle. So this is kind of gamification that we use it to change behavior and to apply, to, uh, we apply it into sustainability and we apply it also to accelerate uh, 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 engagement and action toward SDGs. Also, many players are for, we, we, we use, many players use gamification, many, many, uh, many learners, uh, uh, many educators, they are focused into uh, into into using eco games and eco gamification. Why? Because it can help them feel satisfied. It can increase innovation and creativity. Also, we can uh, many times we can uh, we can uh, discover many creative idea when we uh, engage people into gamification. We can develop skill. I can say the skill set is capacity building. We can develop many skills uh, among gamification. And absolutely, we can change behavior. Like I said, is the most potential thing. We use it in gamification to change the behavior of people toward our environment. And this is the dilemma, like I said, uh, uh, the dilemma of human behavior. Uh, why human behavior are in dilemma? Because there is 
the gap between uh, between the eco conscious and our attitudes. So now I'm going to uh, 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 to share with you uh, a little uh, video about how green generation requires education and sustainability. It's like a requirement and uh, how really sustainable gains can open this kind of culture and uh, boost uh, uh, and, uh, and also foster circular economy in our lives and engage people. I'm going to share Next level. Sure. Do you want some support sharing the video? Yes, um, uh, the, the, uh, the video is already uploading. <laughs> Okay. Once like was it. And you'll need to share your screen again as well. Okay. Can you see my screen, Susanna? Yes, we can see it. Okay, nice. Okay, let's start. Simple. We were up to date with the latest fashion trends and growth as a sign of a fashion. Fortunately, we learned quickly and we moved forward in leaps and bounds, also in the field of love. We got richer and richer, faster and faster, and built bigger and bigger. The world was ours and we took everything we needed. We used all of our resources, dumped all our waste in the rivers, and built wherever we could build, and then it all came to an end. Luckily, we made a different choice. We realized in time that mankind depends on the earth. We learned that we are part of a larger ecosystem and adjusted our economy accordingly. Through education, our society learned to think in terms of sustainable solutions. A green generation requires education and sustainability requires education and sustainability. Okay, thank you. I'm going to reshare again my screen. And now we are, I'm going to, uh, uh, to involve ourselves to, to discover uh, this kind of, uh, of game that I made it, how really to save plants and how really can gamification share knowledge and engage people. Uh, the screen is shared, Susanna? Yes. Okay, well, as we see here, we have uh, many, many uh, uh, in trouble of, uh, of, uh, of times into achieving I can 2020, we can. But when we save the planet, this is our goal. When we want to, to, to achieve something, we have to set this goal, saving the planet. And among this, uh, these goals, we are going to, ex to, 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 uh, to, to discover or to explore together how we are going to save the planet by sharing knowledge and sharing this kind of tips to achieve this goal. So let's start. Hey, cabin boys, we have a mission here. I choose the goal of climate change. 
So our goal is to stop climate change. We know that the earth is a danger and only if we reach the island of life will be able to stop this disaster. So it's very torturous and it's a difficult journey for all of us. But if we follow the correct route, we can succeed. We are really here together to succeed to this route. Okay. There are three, uh, there are many things we should to know and everyone should know before starting this, this kind of trip. When you want to travel on your own ship, we have to move it along the route until you reach the island of life. Uh, if you see the pirate and the mermaid, don't be afraid. It's a kind of obstacle. This is the, the, the gamification aspect. It's a kind of obstacle when we, we, have, we have to be determined and don't be afraid to approach to our goals. So they will give us more valuable information that help us and boost us and foster our uh, creativity toward our goals. So the fish that you will find along the way are your alias. It's a kind of gamification also aspects with fish is your alias, your backbones, your partners, your collaborators, your team. If you listen to them, you will reach the island of life faster. So we are here. Uh, so uh, this kind of gamification to save the planet we, with, with climate change, we use it, the earth, we use it, the fish, the, we, use, we use it, the island, we use it, the, uh, also the pirate, the mermaid. So this is kind of, uh, of aspects that we use it to reach our goals. So let's start by the first interval of, of the goal. In 19... 24, we have something is wrong with the weather. Like the French physicist say, Joseph Fourier, he describes the earth greenhouse effects, the GHG, and explain the role of atmosphere in regulating the earth temperature. So we start by the problem. This is the aspects. There is something wrong with the weather. Then, in, 19, in 1896, we have another aspect is if it's good or bad. We have this kind of disruptive uh, uh, mindset. Is, is this good? Is this bad? Is really an effect, an effect uh, an, a real impact to the people or to the environment? Okay, the Swedish chemist say Swaventi uh, Arrhenius, he conclude that industrial area coal burning will enhance the natural greenhouse gases. So he even thinks that it will be beneficial for future generation. So we are going to question more and more. Then we go to 1972. This is the first concern about the environment. Like uh, the conference held in Stockholm, the big conference held in Stockholm, the Sweden also in Sweden, uh, the climate change uh, 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 conscious and the climate change agenda establish it. So we start making this kind of concerns. This is the first concept. Then we move to another trip. In 1975, uh, 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 sorry, <laughs> in 1975, uh, the global warming is on the rise. It starts rising. Many people are talking about it. And the American scientists make people, makes people the use of the term global warming as a title of scientific, uh, as a scientific uh, uh, team as a scientific concept. So this kind of uh, also exploring what means global warming by scientists, by researchers. Then the last, our last trip to discover this, this, uh, uh, this goal, uh, many countries begin to take actions and uh, 
developed countries are taking this action and also developing uh, countries are making efforts to take these actions with the support and the boost of developed countries. So there is the Kyoto Protocol that is signed in, uh, uh, in 1997, is entered into force in uh, 2005, and nations promise to reduce their emission by 5% uh, between uh, uh, 2008 and uh, 2012. So in the end, we have this period extended into 2020. So after this trip, we have really to uh, to 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 make another trip into achieving uh, sustainable development goals 2030. I hope you you enjoyed the trip of uh, of this island by gamification. So the point of this that we use this kind of concept to really engage people, mobilize them, sharing knowledge, and uh, putting actions plans to achieve this kind of goals. Anyone have a question before uh, moving? Okay. Okay, now we are going to uh, uh, to to engage to uh, to to brainstorm together uh, by breakout rooms. Uh, I'm going to share the link also to facilitate uh, uh, the brainstorming about re-energizing the SDG together because we are here together. Uh, we have many challenges. Uh, in, whatever in, in short term or long term, and we have we, ha we have also the responsibility and uh, the collabor collaborative approach to uh, uh, to uh, to engage ourselves in SDGs together. So, uh, Susanna, I'm going to share. Uh, uh, we have the to 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 make a breakout rooms uh, here, yes. uh, and so it's also a good opportunity uh, to uh, to know all of them. Super. Yes, I can help you from here. We have six participants in this moment, apart from you and me. How many breakout rooms do you want me to create? Um, uh, if we have six participants, we, we can make it into uh, into uh, three breakout rooms. So couples. Yes. Super. Perfect. And the link? Yes, I'm going to share the link. Mingsef, and how many minutes do you want the breakout rooms to be? Uh, until uh, until uh, until making call the post statement to the link. Uh, there is uh, uh, three. There is uh, four colors. If all of them is uh, is uh, is full, we can uh, return to the main room. But we have uh, uh, around 30, 30 minutes until uh, the, to finish uh, until uh, until concluding the session. Perfect. Then I'll just put thirty, and then we come back earlier when we're done. Yes, exactly. Great. I have them ready. Just let me know, and you will be posting in the chat the link. Okay, this is uh, the, the link. Everyone uh, can open the link, it's, uh, it's full access. And we start brainstorming together into SDG. Except when I click on it, it asks me to log in, but I guess it's fine. We can just add our contact information, is that right? Yes, only the email. 
Okay, perfect. For the others, I'll let you know. Perfect. Then I'll just uh, assign you to the breakout rooms and we'll see you back. Janet, were you able to access the link? Yes, uh, it's full access now. Let's check the link again. Super. I'm going to share it again, also on the chat. Great. I think we all have it there. Just checking that everybody was able to access before I put them in the rooms. Okay, perfect. Just in case someone has any question, it will ask you for your name, email, and just create a assign a specific password, and then you'll be in. So perfect. I see already two people in the in the game. <clears throat> yes. Do you want? Should we already put them in the breakout rooms then, Lisa? If we have uh, only uh, six people, we uh, we can make it so uh, without breakout rooms if it's possible. Okay, then we can uh, stay yeah. here. <clears throat> Uh, yes, we, we have a little numbers. Great. I'll just share my screen so everybody can see how it looks and let us know if you're facing any specific issue. Yes. So so this post is everyone is going to, uh, uh, to, to type a problem and type his perspective about how to amplify action toward this problem. So you can you can take uh, uh, for, you can you feel free to take uh, whatever the color you want to use yellow uh, blue uh, rose or green and type into this three post it the problem and two actions only two actions. Sorry, I seem to be lost. Janet, how can we help you? Were you able to maybe click on the link that was in the chat? But then it's asking me for a password. Yes, just make up one. So it's just basically to log in. So you need to put your name, your email, and, and a specific password just to to enter. Please let us know if it worked. We see already Kushubo was able to log in, so super. Cass, were you able also to, to join and to hum? Hello. Hello. Suzanne. Yes, Cass. Um, how, how I can join the breakout room? Uh, so we're actually staying in the main room. You just need to yeah. go to the chat option and click on the mm. link that um, I've already did. Super. And then a uh, website will open and it will ask you for your name, email, and just yeah. to make up a password. And then you'll be in the screen where we are all right now. And there's some posters. Uh, so you should be able to see that. Really? Were you able Do to? You, mean you mentioned about the uh, receive the chat? Yes. So you go to the chat option. And there you uh -huh. have a link. Yes. Exactly. Lucid app. When you click on that, you will have an mm. emerging window on your explorer that will ask you for your name, uh, an email, and one yes, password. Yes, I logged in through Super. Gmail account. 
Great. And were you able to join them, the, the board? Oh, really? It asks some questions, but uh, anyway, I try to fill in the yeah quick tip command. Oh yes, I got it. Thank you. Super. I see you in. Great. So how I can uh, join the breakout rooms? So we are doing it here, all of us in the same room. So no need to join a breakout okay, room. Okay. Okay. I see. You just grab a post-it and you need to uh -huh. type. Any color Perfect. that you want, you type your uh -huh. the type of problem, link Lovely. to SGs Thank and you. to socials. Sure. Great. By the way, did you sing the song when you uh, no. put uh, music? <laughs> it's a member from Catalyst 2030 in New oh, Zealand good. that created this song for, for the network. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, yes. I see. Yes, 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 Just yes. kidding. <laughs> but anyway, thank you. And we also have to Hami, were you able to join? Do you need any support? To Hami Said. If you need any support, let me know. But it should be just clicking on the link, putting your name, email, and one password. And then you'll be able to join the mural. Thank you. I think we understand. You can move your posters wherever you want, uh, like posting the problem, the main problem with a big, with a big scale, and the two action with a little scale. If you if you have if you don't have posters, you can just uh, click on this link, quick posters, and choose your favorite color, and post it there.
Hello, Esther. Nice to have you here. Uh, we're just working in a specific app, the one that you will find in the chat. If you need any support, please let us know. You just need to click, type your name and email, and one password that you would like to use, and then you'll be in the board. We have here five people, so we, 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 we need to have uh, six, uh, we need to have five, uh, uh, five problems and, and their actions. Lisa, I think we're good, because, uh, well, I'm not adding directly to the activity in this moment. And uh, yes, in this moment, we have four members. Yeah. Exactly. So I think they will all contribute in a way. I played also me. <laughs> I joined me also with the blue. I chose the blue. <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay, three remaining participants, okay. Okay, thank you all. So, so we have here, we have uh, Janet, uh, Janet said, uh, 
we are creating Guinness DG Children Club in our local community and think gamification will be great. Oh, thank you, Jeanette. I'm so happy to, uh, to, to connect with you and collaborate with you. Right, thank you. Thank you, and uh, we're happy also to collaborate with Catalyst 2030 to, uh, for, for our common goals. So you said you're creating awareness of climate change with local community. Uh, where, uh, where you are based, uh, Janet? So I'm in Johannesburg in South Africa, and um, we've okay. got something called a skills village, and we've got about a, a street with a lot of buildings in it. And um, one of the things is we've been we've been doing it for quite a while where we, the children can come in and we'll talk about World Water Day. And they'll draw pictures and um, if it's their birthday, we can bake a birthday cake and they can ice it. And, you know, so we're just uh, doing it as a, a, a session where the youth who are, are interning there can teach the children about the activities that come up and in that way create awareness with the children, but also create awareness of the of the youth who um, about the different things. So we love all the sustainable development goals. And um, so we've got a calendar of, of events, you know. Okay, nice, nice. I'm so I'm so happy to connect with you and with the, your, uh, your hopeful and, uh, and uh, promising actions uh, with, with children. Even my club is working with, uh, with, uh, uh, with this kind of challenges by gamification, and I will be happy to, to, co to connect with you and collaborate together. Thank you, Janet. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay, let's, uh, let's go to Kaz. Kaz said how to disseminate the crisis effectively within community. Uh, uh, can you explain more your uh, your problem and uh, and uh, your actions, Cass? The floor is yours. Uh, <laughs> because you know, uh, I'm I'm Cass from Tokyo, Japan, and you don't you may not know about latest situation in Japan, but uh, we are suffering from long time for a long time uh, having no journalism in my country. So the people, uh, general people doesn't know, don't know uh, the crisis. So we have to make uh, some event uh, to disseminate uh, the, the real, re real climate crisis uh, to the public. Uh, that's why uh, we plan to uh, build up a, a, a a civil co conference like uh, Fial City in Barcelona or Rona. Nice. So, so currently now you are establishing the Sikidzania uh, yeah. uh, for, for fighting climate change challenges. Yeah. Oh, you know, nice. they, they are still, still stick to the capitalism, mimicking capitalism. So that I, I would like to introduce climate aspect into the Kizania playground. Do you know Kizania, by the way? Yes, it's the first time that I know it. I'm so happy to connect with you and with Kizania. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Where are it's you visiting? super fun. Yeah. You know, uh, not only for kids, but uh, uh, adults also get a fun. So I, I, I'll put a link to yes, Kizania. Yes. So pre yes, please every refer to. Yes, everyone here uh, present here. We we, we have we will we will uh, we will, uh, we will put our links on into the chat, uh, yeah. uh, so everyone can uh, can really uh, um, can really exchange his action, his current action. Yeah. Uh, wonderful. Uh, his current uh, also uh, uh, problem. Okay. Yeah, I like let's, it. Nice, nice, guys. Uh, <laughs> nice. Uh, let's move, move to, to, to Kishku with in, in India. Uh, he said climate change uh, extreme of time. Uh, can you please uh, uh, explain to us your action uh, uh, and what you do now to, to fight, uh, you, what, what you take as action to fight uh, this kind of challenges? Uh, hi, I'm Kushpu um, uh, yes. and I'm from okay. Delhi, India. Uh, we are facing one of the hottest summers in the country where 
uh, it is predicted that it's going to cross 45 degrees Celsius in the next two days. So within this, you know, extreme heat wave that is happening uh, <clears throat> historically, actually, uh, within the city for this month, uh, I had thought that perhaps, um, you know, paying more attention to planting of trees and also talking about it to small children and getting them involved uh, would actually help. Sorry. Please, can you unmute yourself? Uh, uh, is there is there is a noise with the, someone here? Yes. Okay. Fine. Thank you. Uh, th uh, yes. Yes. Go ahead, Kushbu. Right. Thank you. So, uh, getting the children, young ones, uh, involved in planting of trees and let them tend to it. You know, like uh, we used to have in Farmville as a game or even Tamagachi, you know, that uh, little game where you had to take care of a digital pet or a virtual pet, you know, uh, so something like that for real, which I feel that uh, the children of today, uh, you know, the modern age when there are gadgets for everything, they're always on their smartphones playing some video or some game. So how to get them outside and how to make them realize what is the importance of a real tree? Uh, within yeah. the neighborhood uh, would be very useful and they would also grow up to be adults who are more responsible and sensitive towards the environment. Great. Secondly, I was, yes. Ah, so secondly, I was also thinking about the adults, you know, because all this situation has been created by adults, you know, and uh, uh, I somewhere feel that the prior generation was not too thoughtful of what they were doing and where it would lead. So that is why the youth is also suffering. So they end up with huge health problems and issues uh, like allergies and asthma at a young age. So how can now, you know, can there be some remedial measures by the uh, adults? And that could be probably looking at uh, giving positive or negative credits for the amount of uh, either fossil fuels that are being consumed or anything uh, material which is going to lead to a lot of waste. So we know that landfills also emit a lot of methane and uh, not just uh, vehicular uh, uh, fumes. So um, I think consumption and trying to keep a track of it would also make uh, the adults realize uh, what is their contribution to the situation at hand and how can they make it slightly better? So awareness really helps. And in a way, if it could be gamified so that they also feel better, if they're making a difference, you know, walking to the market, the nearby local market, instead of taking their cars, yeah. very small little interventions here uh, might actually help. Yes, it's, it's about changing their behavior. This is exactly. the main point. Right, That's right. why we use gamifying. Oh, so thank you, Kushbu. It's really thank nice you. to connect with you. Please, Janet yes. and Kaz uh, and everyone uh, talking here, uh, put your link uh, into the chat of your action uh, so I can connect with you. About my action also, our club is, is destined for Generation X and, and, uh, and Z, uh, children's and teens and youth also. To, to, to foster them, foster their sensitivity toward climate change challenges, and also to, uh, to build this culture of building green, building green communities and building a green, uh, a green cities. We know that if we want to, to fight climate change, we have to change our mindset, our eco mindset, and also we have to change our way how we build our cities how we live, how we work into our offices. So this is kind of, uh, of action that I'm taking with gamification and with uh, engagement and mobilizing people. So please put your links into the chat and we have a couple of minutes. We, have, we, 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 will, we, will, we, will, we will explore together uh, in this uh, uh, final part.
the summarizing of this uh, brainstorm game. Yes, welcome, Rauda. You can unmute yourself and talk if you have uh, an action that you take it uh, uh, to fight uh, uh, a problem, or you can also join the, 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 the link. Okay. And Janet, also, you can put your link, please. Okay, nice. Okay, now we are going to move to summarize this kind of brainstorming game, this kind of challenges into a, a, a gamified and, uh, and uh, interactive uh, uh, tool to know more about the environment and uh, in, this, in this final part. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Susanna, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, thank you. I'm going to put it in full. Okay. We brainstorm together about problems and, and actions. But why we do that is to, uh, to, to exchange together uh, and to collaborate together. And this is the approach of Catalyst 2030, to collaborate to get together on these actions and also to level up our action at the, glo at the global scale. We know that the environment have many, uh, is a global uh, problem, not only a local problem. And the biggest uh, success is to, uh, to approach our action and to, to put our hands together. So let's see the environmental biggest global problem that we face it. We have here many problems. We have water, scarcity, we have meteorological events, we have the food production and consumption problem. We have also the pollution problem. We have, and like we said, the climate change is it's a global problem. We have the ocean problem, and also we have the energy problem, and we have the biodiversity problem. So I'm going to, uh, to, uh, to ask you what kind of, 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 of one of these points you want to open it. What kind of problem you want to open it? Because we have a couple of minutes, we can open it all, all of them. <laughs> what do you choose? The energy, the biodiversity, the water, the climate change? We talk more about climate change. So let's open the climate change. Okay, according to the United Nations, carbon dioxide emission has increased by almost 50 since 1990. And, and this is really a good, uh, a good, uh, a good, 
global warming, which occurred due to carbon dioxide emission, is speeding up climate change and also pose a huge threat to the survival of human being, wherever plants, wherever animals, not only people. So there is a really a, a, a disruptive meteorological events here in Tunisia, wherever in, in India, in Mexico, in America, in all, all over the world, uh, such as fires, flood, draw to occur more and more frequently. So in order to protect ourselves and to protect this planet, we need to take steps and action to reduce the effect of climate change, also to control this global warming. And that's why we are here all together with all of actions that I am happy to hear about it and to know it. We are here to fight the climate change that is continuing for years. Thank you so much. Everyone, uh, I'm so happy to connect with you. Uh, my uh, action is uh, Ikukliku Hub. He's basically in Tunisia, gamify, gamification and facilitation tool to fight climate change and green building issues. I'm so happy to, uh, to, to see you, all of you. And uh, uh, I'm going to share also. my contact. Okay, Susanna. Yes. If you wanted to share uh, something with Catalyst, a uh, uh, short video or something, or do uh, we open all of them? If you want, I could also just share the video at the end again. Uh, but yes, just an open invitation for everybody uh, to be part of this global network of social entrepreneurs as well. Yes. Um, and different stakeholders working together to achieve the SDGs. We have shared the website information in the chat and also our membership form. If one of you wants to be part of this network, uh, we'll be very happy to have you. And we also have specific lo local approaches. We have a chapter uh, in MENA, for example, in the MENA region. We have a very interesting group of members in Tunisia and probably soon we'll start an admission chapter that we have chapters in more than 22 countries around the world. So very happy to meet you. Thank you for your participation and thank you, Nisaf, for, for this great session. And yes, we'll keep in touch for sure. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you really, uh, Susanna. And thank you for all the attendees from all over the world. I'm so happy to connect with you and collaborate with you within Catalyst 2030. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. That was great. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 -bye.